Hey there, I thought I'd do a quick video on ball valves. I was kind of interested in the ball valve uh, workings, uh, and I had two one inch ones that were coming off of a vacuum breaker for a sprinkler system that I had taken out. And I thought, how do you, how do you, how are these things put together and kind of what is the, the gaskets and what have you seals in there? Specifically, I started just playing around with it, taking the top off here and seeing that there was a, uh, seal. This is actually it, um, down in here that seats. So I started taking it apart and then I thought, hey, I've got another one. Why don't I cut it in half and kind of see how this thing's assembled and everything. So the first thing I did was to kind of take that bolt off there and remove the handle, uh, which kind of exposes this guy. Um, this the slotted kind of nut uh, bolt that um, the handle fits on and has this wedge here that basically fits onto the ball. This is cut in half and taken apart from the, the bad one. I've got a couple of marks on it, but anyway, that seats in this slot here. So then I started thinking, well, how do they, okay, that gets that out. And I thought, well, how do they get these seals in here? So I cut it in half, basically. Here you can see the parts cut in half. Um, the, these two basically go here like that. And I saw that, okay, this is threaded on this side of the of the ball valve assembly, as you can see there, which basically corresponds to, on the good one, this side. And I thought, well, gosh, that's a seam there that's threaded. So where is it on the ball valve? And sure enough, I didn't really think about it when I saw it, but you can see there's a seam right here that this piece, and obviously why it has a a uh, bolt a hex head on it is to put it together hex head there is more of a part of the housing but this hex head here is actually what allows you to screw in what is here the broken out piece here you can see the threading on it that allows you to then screw it into this housing so then I was like, okay, cool. I wish I could get that off. I don't have a, this is probably like a 34, 35 millimeter. I don't know. I can't get anything I have. My uh, big pipe wrench doesn't allow me to get enough torque on that, uh, at least on this small bench vise, um, to get that off. But in thinking about it, um, you can see these two, basically the seals that are for the ball valve, they fit in these little channels here. One of the channels is in the main housing and the other channel, even though this this part is broken, um, it's got a smooth side and a flat side, but basically that fits in here and it would be something like that. And your ball valve would pivot in here, uh, sealing the flow or allowing the flow. So then I thought, oh cool, if you could actually get this screw piece to loosen up, you can see that the housing is part of the screw piece. So if you were able to unscrew that, you would then be able to take off this um, gasket seal, plastic uh, circular seal, whatever you want to call it, uh, gasket. And then you would be exposed to something like looking like this um, on that end. And I thought, well, wait a second now, how how would you then be able to get this ball out of there and get access to the, the um, farther, the seal on the other side? So what happens is you basically would turn the ball so that it's closed. And from the other side, you would be able to hit this, which would then allow the ball to release from this channel that it's in, that I've got it kind of stuck in. And the ball would then be able to come out of this side that you just opened up, leaving this channel piece that the ball slid off of. 
inside the groove like that. And at that point, you would be able to push down this guy and remove it from this side as well. And get to this seal here. Now this looks threaded. I'm not positive. I'm assuming it is. Uh, and that that's what sits in here, down deep in here. Uh, and you'd then be able to you know, pull that out and replace it or whatever. There's also this other seal, which goes on the other end of this, on the inside end of that. So it goes like that. And then it goes through the, the main housing like that. And then this is where this seal would come into play. And on top of that, if I can find it here, is this nut that's removable um, that compresses that down and secures the two seals uh, tightly against the housing so that water doesn't come out of there. So basically that's kind of the inner workings of the ball joint. Um, just found it kind of fascinating how you would be able to take this apart. I'm going to keep trying to um, remove this seal here somehow. Maybe get it on a bigger bench or something and try and get that off, but I'd really like to just disassemble it to, to see. But yeah, the interesting part I thought is once you do get that open, turning this valve so that you can then pound it from the other end or somehow extract it because it has to slide off of this channel that would be oriented like that. And that would really remove the ball and then you would be able to take out the the closing bolt and replace the gaskets and you would also have access to this last gasket on this side so you basically could put a, pull it all together pull, take it all apart you would probably want to replace um, possibly this bolt as well I don't know it may, might be reusable but you know all these uh, essentially four gaskets um, that I show right here the two main ones for the ball, the outside gasket for the, the bolt, and the inside gasket for the bolt. Anyway, kind of interesting uh, assembly and disassembly of a ball valve. Hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed uh, kind of learning about it. Thanks for watching.